Yo, know, you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here, and welcome to a Friday edition of TNI News. And we've got 1027 reveals, plus the McFarland Toys Lobo figure that went up for pre order on Amazon. So let's start off with that. And the cost of this one, as I said, um, you know, I thought it was going to be around 70 bucks, which is what the cost of it is. Now, as I'm filming this, this is still available on the Amazon website. It is not sold out. I was expecting it to sell out fairly quickly, but they have made it readily available. You get the two different head sculpts. You get the bike, of course. Um, and then, of course, dog. And you get the guitar and you get his uh, spike chain as well. So, um, again, this is seven inch scale Lobo with his, uh, bike and uh, space hog as, it, as it's called. And this is going to be uh, released in January. January 16th is the current release date that Amazon has listed. Let's hope it doesn't get delayed 20 times like they started doing with that Batman six pack. And again, this is, uh, being released as an Amazon exclusive. Okay. Now. Let's get into Hasbro. So today is the 1027 event, which was supposed to technically begin at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And by the time you're watching this video, the uh, 1027 uh, YouTube uh, video probably has already gone up. But it actually leaked out earlier in the day. Um, and everything, of course, that was revealed in the video, it was pre-recorded. It wasn't an actual live stream. It was pre-recorded. And, and, of course, everything got out early. But let's just uh, recap everything. So for Transformers, the three reveals that we got today, we got United Beast Wars Neo Magmatron Combiner Team. And then we also got the United Beast Wars Silver Bolt Voyager. And then finally, uh, Stranger Things Transformer Crossover. I don't know what's up with all the Stranger Things crossovers. But we've got Code Red, which that one is going to be a Target exclusive. So, uh, again, uh, these uh, were re revealed during the 1027 event. We'll probably get better looks at these tomorrow uh, when they get put out at the MCN London convention. Today kicked that off as well, but the stuff that Hasbro had out in their booth today really wasn't anything new for any of the brands. But we will get uh, new reveals tomorrow. There's a, a, a Hasbro panel tomorrow, which will be covering all the brands. So we might get some additional reveals during that. And that's going to be at 6.30 a.m. Pacific time, or I'm sorry, Eastern time. Uh, it's 11.30 a.m. London time, but here on the East Coast, that should translate to 6.30 a.m. Um, in the morning. So we'll have coverage of that up in the morning. I, I don't know if you're going to get up that early, but we'll have coverage for you when you wake up in the morning. And again, um, but today for 1027, we got those three items for, for transport. And then for Star Wars, we got a couple of new reveals. So for Black Series, we got a Shop Disney exclusive, and this will also be available on Hasbro Pulse. It is Mace Windu and the 187th Legion Clone Trooper, so one of the purple clones that hung out with Mace during the Clone Wars. So again, this is technically a Shop Disney exclusive, but it is going to go up today on Hasbro Pulse, again at 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. For uh, premium members, 6 p.m. for everyone else. It will be going up on the Shop Disney website at a later time, but it will not be going up on the Shop Disney website today. So again, we have that new two-pack. Um, and then for a vintage collection, we have a new Rogue One uh, Andor figure. And that will be available at places like our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, Hasbro Pulse. Uh, it's going to go up everywhere at 6 p.m. Eastern Time today. And then finally, a reissue of the Black Series Paz Vizsla figure. So that one, again, will be available at places like our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. And again, that will be going up at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Switching over to G.I. Joe, so we got a couple of new pipeline reveals during the 1027 event. So names only, no images or anything, but we are going to be getting Raptor and an Iron Grenader. So it's kind of weird we're getting an Iron Grenader before we get Destro with his Iron Grenader, Grenader I should say, a gold uh, mask and everything. But we're getting one of his troops before, or at least it's getting announced before. So again, those two will be coming to the line. And then for 1027, really the only thing they showed off was giving us a detailed look of their new uh, vehicle, the Vamp Jeep, which is going to be offered as a Pulse exclusive. It will be coming with the Clutch figure. Uh, no word on price yet. We won't find out the price until it actually goes up on the Hasbro Pulse website today, later today. Again, this will be uh, 
uh, uh, 5 p.m. for premium members and 6 p.m. for everyone else. It's definitely very nicely detailed. I think they did a really awesome job, uh, including all the features that you would expect. The windshield you can pop down, you can take off the gun, you've got the water tanks, you've got the shovel on the front, you've got the uh, camo thing that you can also put on the hood, you've got alternate types of ways to display the lighting for it, uh, it's got the um, wench so you can uh, pull things up and or tow things or you know just like the original vehicle. So uh, definitely nicely uh, detailed overall, I would say. You've also got the clutch figure that has two different head sculpts, a regular head sculpt with a helmet that's removable, or you've got a special helmeted head that you can uh, use as kind of a generic type character if you wanted to kind of army build this thing. And uh, that's compatible with other G.I. Joe figures. So again, uh, this thing to me is a thing of beauty. If you're into G.I. Joe, if you were a fan of the original Vamp, uh, I, I hope they uh, use the same mold and give us a Cobra Stinger Jeep at some point down the road. Um, and on the packaging, you will notice uh, we get kind of our first glimpse at the Cobra Ferret. Uh, which is a vehicle that they've told us that would be coming to the line sometime next year. So again, kind of our first look at that. Now, as I said, uh, with like the Transformers and also the same goes for Star Wars, uh, Marvel Legends, um, and G.I. Joe, we might get some more reveals tomorrow during the London MCM uh, Comic Con panel that Hasbro is going to be holding. For Ghostbusters, uh, for 1027 today, they revealed uh, their next HasLab campaign, which will be launching later today. It is for more more role-playing items, the PKE meter and Ghost Trap. So two prop replicas to go along with your Proton Pack that they did uh, previously. Uh, the cost of this is going to be $299. Um, and again, uh, this HasLab campaign will be launching on the Pulse website later today. And we should be getting some more product reveals for Ghostbusters tomorrow. I believe we're going to see a Target exclusive wave of product, though I don't know exactly what kind of product it's going to be. But again, I do believe we will be seeing that tomorrow during the MCM London Comic Con panel. And then finally, for Marvel Legends, we got three new Marvel Legend figures uh, announced today. All of these are going to be Pulse exclusives. So again, going up today, 5 p.m. for premium members, 6 p.m. for everyone else. Uh, these are all three Spider-Man figures. In fact, every new reveal this weekend, I believe, is going to be something Spider-Man based, uh, at least according to Ryan uh, or, or Dan Young's uh, cryptic uh, clue the other day. So, uh, But the three today definitely were Spider-Man related, so we're getting a new updated Jack-O-Lantern figure that looks really nice. Definitely a nice improvement, and you get his uh, traditional uh, circle uh, glider thing. Um, so that's definitely a nice addition. And all of these are on the retro uh, Spider-Man type card backs, all these figures. So new Jack-O-Lantern figure. Then we're also getting an updated uh, Scarlet Spider figure. So this one has uh, the hoodie that is a sep it's a you know rubber type material. It's not soft goods, but it is on there separately. It's not just sculpted on the figure like the last uh, Scarlet Spider that Hasbro gave us. So a different mold as well. So an updated version of Scarlet Spider. And then the f uh, final one uh, revealed is Spider-Man Last Stand. Uh, I'm not really familiar with this version of Spider-Man, but an alternate universe Spider-Man, I think, or maybe a clone, I don't know. But again, that one is, is coming as well. And again, all three of these are being released as Pulse exclusives. And again, all three of these are going to be going up for pre-order today, starting at 5 and 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And then uh, just finally, one more thing. Uh, thanks to Tarrant for uh, sending me an update. He talked to Hasbro at the MCN London convention today, um, asking about the scroll faceplate for the Giant Man and whether or not it might be included since we got so close. You know, we're just shy by 111 backers to unlock the uh, second stretch goal earlier this week. And according to what he was told, uh, it will not be included. In fact, uh, because apparently they've had a number of cancellations on the campaign since it ended. You know, you can actually cancel your order if you didn't want it, decide you didn't want it until uh, the 22nd of November. So, um, but apparently they've had, according to what, what Tarot was being told, they've had a number of cancellations. So it's, it's not 
a hundred, you know, it is, it's more than 111 uh, shy of unlocking that goal and it will not be included as any kind of free gift or, if, you know, going on and just including it. Now they did indicate possibly we could see that faceplate released uh, in some type of uh, set down the road, which would mean you would have to pay additional money. Uh, it's not something set in stone, so it's not definitive, but we might end up, you know, folks who back this campaign might it's in some way or some form get another shot at that faceplate if they really want to add it to, to their figure. But again, do not expect it to be included um, with with the Giant Man uh, HasLab campaign. If, if you backed it, you will just get the zombie face, but not the scroll one. Okay, so that's it for today. Again, uh, tomorrow, uh, early tomorrow morning, we will be getting probably some more Hasbro reveals. Stuff that was uh, announced today will be put out at the Hasbro booth, so we'll get updated looks at some of that stuff. And, um, and of course, anything that is shown or announced tomorrow, we will have up on the websites, and I will talk about on Monday in Monday's uh, TNI news video. But um, feel free to share your thoughts on everything I talked about down in the comments section below. Like this video if you're so inclined. And if you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. As always, guys, stay safe out there. Have a great weekend. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.